Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today I will show you how to draw a comic book cover. And you know who will be the main character? Captain, Steve, sorry, America, Rogers. That's right, Captain America! Make sure to watch the whole video, there will be a lot of tips and tricks in there. The funny thing though, I've never actually drawn a comic book cover. But still I will teach you how it works. Is he insane? What is he doing? First, let's take a look at a decent piece of comic book paper. It's 11 by 17 inch and there are those blue lines. I will show them to you properly and Lawrence now will tell you how it works. Okay, Lawrence, tell us about the comic book paper. Nah, okay, I guess I need to do that myself. So here you can see all the blue lines. The inner blue line indicates where the drawing should actually end. All the lettering needs to be in here and the main part of the drawing should be in this inner area. The second line indicates the area where the paper will be trimmed actually. It says here trim. So you can draw till this line but there shouldn't be very important parts in it. Because especially when you do a cover the main drawing should remind in the inner area. The third line is just an insurance if you mess up too much. You shouldn't draw outside this line. That's the one. So, what will we do? We will draw until this line, the second one, but we will make sure that the main drawing remains in the inner area. Because this is the actual area that would be printed on an actual comic book cover. So now let's do a thumbnail. On this piece of paper I will eyeball the aspect ratio of our comic book page and sketch out the cover. It's just a very cheap copy paper, that's all you need. Okay, first of all my microphone cable died, so I had to borrow this one from my sister. So I hope the sound is working. Not really. And second of all, that's our thumbnail sketch. I hope you can see something. Usually those thumbnails are very important when you're doing more characters or a lot of background because then you can arrange them as you like. And yes, that's the environment I have to work in. But in my case, I wanted to create a very universal cover which you could actually take for any Captain America comic book. So the main focus is on Captain America himself. Maybe I'll do some background later if I feel like there's too much empty space behind the captain. But we'll see about that. So now we can start the actual drawing. Okay, so I would say this will be the space for the lettering. Captain America. Just so I have an idea where it could be. And I think it would be okay if the head would be in the lettering a little bit. So you can still read it, but I guess that wouldn't be a problem. So I can start with the head right here and I want it in the middle. That's pretty cool with this paper because I can see there's the middle. Everything's here, everything you need. And you could also use rulers quite effectively with these things. But we will not need that today. That's more for the panels, I guess. Okay, so let's start with the drawing. As you can see, the body is getting a little bit too bulky, even for Captain America. So I will just redraw the head a little bit and make the head a little bit bigger. And then the whole drawing will fit again, I hope. The neck needs to get bigger as well, of course. Neck needs to be as thick as the head. Very important. Yeah, and I guess that's way better. Cleaning it up so I can see it properly. That'll work. Paper is getting in the way. Better. Make use of everything you can think of.
are making good progress, but the kids and I, we need some fresh air. So we will go outside for a while, right? He says yes. Let's go! Look, that's the house where David Finch lives. Not! Who needs a playground when you have rocks? Amadeus, where's the chicken? Okay, the weather was quite horrible, but the kids have been outside, me too, so now back to the drawing. Okay guys, there's my finished pencil sketch. When you compare it to a pencil only sketch like the one I did right here, you can see it's not as tight, but at the same time it's still tighter than the pencil sketch I normally do when I ink them later on. But hey, this is supposed to be a cover, so I should do it properly, right? Right. And now it's time to ink this beast. And for that I will start with a 0.1 fine liner from Micron to trace all the important lines. And this we will do quite fast, so let's go! I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. These details, way too many. But I owe it to the captain to do this properly, because we are like this. We go way back. But that's actually all I need for the lines, so now we will go in with my strong blacks. Time for my brush pen! When using a brush pen like this, it's very important to move your paper around all the time. So don't be too lazy for that. But if you want to have more tips like this, check out this video. It's a video I made about strong blacks. All you need to know in there. Check it out! But now, let's use this. Just found out it's empty. Let's go! with the strong blacks and I can tell you those scales they are just ridiculous but they look pretty neat if you say so big guy so the next step is the cross hatching but it's way too late so I will call it a night and I will see you guys tomorrow morning rocker out five minutes later good morning Vietnam yes Good morning, I had a good night's sleep and now I'm about to finish this drawing. Also, our special guest young Lawrence is here today again. Lawrence, do you have something to say today? Uh, he's so cute! <laughs> okay guys, line weight with this one and also most of the hatching, the cross hatching. So, let's begin! Am I glad I finished all these details from the scales yesterday? <laughs> they have been such a pain. These small details right here from the costume, they are almost like veins. So you actually could leave out the side where the light is coming from. 
but I wanted it to be seen because it's kind of an important part of the costume. But thicker lines from the line weight will only be on the shaded side of this little detail here. And even here it's very important to keep in mind where the light source is coming from. Even with those small details. And it's also the same with the folds. The folds from the glove right here. Although they are staying quite thin. Because they are just really really small folds. Which means they don't throw quite a big shadow. Just a very small one. You see? Looks brilliant! And here you can see quite good that those folds are just negative space drawings. The side where the light hits the fold, there is no line at all. You can see the pencil line, but that will be erased later on. Glory! Let me talk! Nah, it's okay. You can talk as much as you like. Yes! Kids are sweet. Try and get some kids, but they are a lot of work. A lot of time. And this will be the last time we have to use our plate. Then I can bring it back to the kitchen. But it really works well. I didn't want this side of the shield being as round as this side, so I did as follows. Look at that. There's my plate. I hold the pen like this and then I do this during the pro process and then I go this way back again. I hope you know what I mean. But just just watch. Then I go inside and then I go back out again. You see? Now I just have to fix that a little bit. So much variety in just one plate. Who would have thought? Okay, so now the line weight's done. I will erase it down a little bit. Just a little. And now we will also use this pen to start the cross hatching process. And I will start with the feet because sometimes you need to get in the flow of the cross hatching and the first hatchings might not be the best ones. So start where it's not so important. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm done with Captain America. But since this is supposed to be a cover, I really should add some background, like I was thinking before. Because this is the captain standing strong after a fight. So let's add some smokes. touches with this one. Okay guys, I'm done with my Captain America cover. I hope you like it. No! It was really fun taking more time for one drawing. 
Those YouTube videos really take a long time to produce and I don't always have most of the time for the drawing part. But in this case, I took the time and I plan to do that more often. Because I actually like the idea of drawing covers. Maybe I can do a real one sometime. That would be nice. Okay people, let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So you won't miss out on any of my future videos. But now I will give you a proper reveal and I will see you guys at my next video. Bye!